in HD from the KGW studio on the square. This is Live at 7. Off KGW.com slash the square. That's our show blog if you'd like to learn more. Joe Smith, it's your turn. Well, Steph, what do you think of when I say hemp? <laughs> I'll give you enough rope to hang yourself if you answer wrong. <laughs> we are at a hemp party tonight. And David, what do you got here? Well, this is a model of a house, a, a section of a wall. And what we're trying to do is start to build houses in Portland made out of hemp. Unbelievable. You can also have peanut butter chocolate ice cream. We're going to find out the big move for the first annual hemp week across the country right after this. We're back for the second half of Live at 7 happening in PDX tonight, a celebration of hemp. No snickering. This is big business. So who better than our business guru, Joe Smith, who's at the Bridgeport Brew Pub in Northwest Portland. Hey, Joe. Well, it could be even bigger business if hemp were allowed to be grown here. I want you to meet Christina Volgari. She has been uh, in charge of actually having hemp history weeks across the country. How'd you get the idea and why? Well, this is, um, you know, there's many people around the country, including Mer American farmers that want to grow industrial hemp. And so this week is an educational celebration where we're unearthing our local history with hemp farming in the U.S. And we kind of have a stigma about hemp that maybe a lot of people um, would think of it in, in a negative term. Absolutely. Hemp has no drug value, however, so we can make lots of products made with hemp, and that's what we're celebrating. We're sampling everything from hemp milk to hemp uh, body care products tonight. Now, hemp is not allowed to be grown here. I guess Canada is the closest uh, country that grows it. That's right. All the products that are made from hemp seeds are um, hemp is come from, coming from Canada. And so if it were allowed to be grown just in Oregon, what kind of economic impact could that have? Well, it would give lots of business to local farmers as well as secondary businesses that would grow as a result. So you'd have all the manufacturing that would happen here locally. Lots of job opportunities for farmers. Well, one of them I know is just right over here, and it's they call it ice cream. It's not quite that, but it sure tastes pretty good. I want you to meet Hans. Hi, Hans. How are you? Good. How are you, Joe? Right, the name of your company is what? It's called Living Harvest, and the brand name we have is called Semitz. All right. And so what is in, the hemp is in this ice cream product? Absolutely. Yeah. We are the leader in hemp-based food items, and we make hemp milks, hemp ice creams, um, and we buy all of our um, ingredients in Canada today, and we would love to buy them here locally in Oregon. Yeah, well, that would be kind of nice, but the thing is, you're allowed to sell it here, but you're not allowed to grow it to make it here. Absolutely. That's the funny part of it. Um, we have to import everything out of Canada and then go through very expensive steps that we can avoid if we could grow it locally. Now, it's really interesting. I mean, this is kind of like an ice cream. Well, it is kind of like a dairy product, but it's no dairy in it. I mean, it just tastes no creamy, dairy. though. No gluten, no allergens. Mm. Um, oh, sorry. I got no. Oh. I, got, I was busy eating ice cream. Sorry. Yeah. No, so no, no gluten, no dairy, no allergens. So this is really a solution for many people out there. You know what I found interesting, too? You know, um, lip balm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lip balm. There's so many uses for hemp. Um, there's body care products. There's cosmetics coming out now. There's cars. There's, as you just saw, buildings. It's yeah. a great solution to many problems. So what's the hope of having this um, Hemp History Week? I mean, what's the whole purpose of the result? Is it that you'll get uh, legislators to say it's okay to grow hemp here? Yes, we are hoping to get the attention of uh, the Obama administration and that they do just like they did with medical marijuana is, um, you know, make sure that, you know, farmers are allowed to grow it and separate the product from um, and, 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 and yeah. change the attitude about it. Absolutely. All right, Hans, thanks very much. I appreciate it. So there you have it. This is uh, History Hemp Week, and uh, it's uh, kind of interesting, not what you might expect. We're here at the uh, brew, uh, Bridgeport Brew Pub. Is that where we are? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just having the ice cream. Uh, Steph, back to you. <laughs> I am tempted by the ice cream. Thanks very much, Joe. Spider goats after the break.